as soon as I got on this, I heard that song, and I haven't listened to this in forever, but um, the song Every Day, is it Every Day is Exactly the Same or Every Day is the Same by Nine Inch Nails? It's like, just just listen to that song if you if you listen to Nine Inch Nails. Well, I mean, I don't know why anyone wouldn't listen to that song. It's not like violent or anything. Some people go, oh, Nine Inch Nails. Oh, I don't know. It's like, why? They're great. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna, I have so little cards here. We're just gonna go with Aries, okay? Aries, you're up. I don't know why I felt the need to use frankincense. I don't know what you've been getting into, Aries. What have you been doing? <laughs> what have you been doing? Have you been bad? <laughs> Aries, have you been bad? Have you been sneaking around and doing bad things? Are you in Seven of Swords energy right now, Aries? Interesting. I don't know why I felt the need to accuse you guys of being sneaky, but we'll see. We'll see. Just lighting some Palo Santo to clear out the energy from Aquarius's reading. Holy shit. That was... Aquarius's readings are always complex. And it's so funny because every single reader that I listen to always says that too. They're like, Aquarius readings are like madness all of the time. Okay. Did you see how that fire just went out suddenly? And I know it had to do with, you know, the combination of how much oxygen this thing was getting, right? But um, what that was giving to me was like, there's something here that's gone out, okay? Like a sudden disappearance of emotion, fire, spark, passion, okay? I am an Aries North Node, by the way. Um, so, you know, Aries, I kind of see Aries as very creative. Um, you guys can be artists a lot of the time and you can be very outgoing and you can be very bullheaded. Okay. And I understand that energy because like I said, I am an Aries North and I know, I know exactly what you're feeling. Okay. And I'm a Leo sun too, which doesn't really help. So honestly, it almost feels like the Leo in me calms down the, um, it, it calms down the Aries. It's like, you know, I'm, I just relax and I just sit on the couch and chill <laughs> when I get upset. Okay. Anyway, here, um, yeah, that's what I was talking about. This, I just, I'm getting like a spark went out, like something went out. You see how it's like a, a dead rock, you know, it's, there's nothing on there. It's just kind of like, Mm, cold, empty, but that healing energy as well. It's like after the spark goes out, you could be healing other people. That could be your calling is to heal other people. Don't I just, oh my God, that's crazy. Sorry, I was just thinking about something and I said it out loud and I shouldn't have. But anyway, so... <laughs> What else is coming in for Aries? Yeah. Okay. Partnerships. Okay. There's some sort of spiritual contract here that's going to be coming in. Okay. This is a Mercury retrograde reading, by the way, guys. Okay. What else for Aries? My ear, my right ear keeps ringing tonight. I don't know what that's about, but Neptune. Okay, with mystery, um, there's some sort of confusion. You're, I feel like you're being mysterious, Aries. I feel like you're <laughs> you're the mysterious one right now, which is kind of funny because Aries are very, they like to be talking about what they're doing, right? And um, I feel like that you're not doing that right now. Mercury with thoughts, communication, okay? Your clairvoyance could be really... Um, picking up right now. You could be picking up a lot of like messages from your higher self, from the 5D, from like whatever. <laughs> for, for some reason, I just randomly got the message like your mom is going to be calling you like mad the next couple weeks. I don't know if like it's maybe it's because of the holidays or something, but like they're just going to be nonstop up your butt. Hopefully not literally, but um, anyway, second house of material goods. So some of you are really need, needing to budget right now, okay? Let's 
All right. Man, this stuff is so weird. It's non-alcoholic, but it really makes me... It really makes... It's called Kin, K-I-N. It really makes me um, funny. Um, yeah, there's some sort of scattered energy right now. You could be frustrated with some sort of delay. I feel like that's with money. You could be frustrated with the delay of money. And in general as well, Mercury Retrograde is kind of like hitting people with all sorts of delays. So that could be frustrating you as well. It's like, you know... You want something to come in and it's just like you're sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. It's just not coming. Or you could be waiting for like maybe you get money for the holidays or whatever. Or you get gifts from your family and like they're just lost in the mail and shit like that. Like this Christmas is going to be mad, you guys. Like I'm telling you. It's going to be crazy. Because like, are you kidding me? Mercury retrograde in Christmas? Like what? Okay. <laughs> um, What is coming in for areas of Mercury retrograde? Okay, so this is kind of like what, nope, that was someone else that got that. Oh my God, are you kidding me? The axe. <laughs> this is so interesting. Okay, so the black walnut tree. So the axe is um, division and lessening and black walnut is discernment and, discernment and self-worth. Self-worth, okay. What else is coming in for Aries? The peacock, vanity and pride. Okay, so some of you could definitely be like changing your appearance or something. I'm getting like you're like a new you or something. And I feel like this is very mysterious to something to someone because you maybe you maybe haven't changed your appearance in a very long time and you all of a sudden suddenly decide, you know what? I'm gonna go like dime hair, I don't know, uh, peacock colors. <laughs> maybe blue. Maybe you're gonna dye your hair blue or something, and someone's gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> Um, so black eyed peas with wealth and prosperity. Yeah, there's something about money here that's important to you right now and, and frustrating at the same time I'm getting. Oh my God. The Mockingbird. We're going to take it. What's that? You know, I want to keep this energy too, which is the cicada metamorphosis, metamorph metamorphosis and life cycle. Cause I'm just really getting this energy from you right now, Aries, where you're changing. Okay, and people are like, whoa, what is going on with Aries? Like, they're completely different. And you're, you're going to be a little loud, too. You know how cicadas are, like, loud? Um, not, like, annoying, but it's kind of like... I'm just saying you're going to kind of be like, hey, guys, it's me. It's the new me. Welcome to the new me. Hello, everyone. And everyone's going to be like, whoa, Aries, you're crazy. Like, I don't know. It's just going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Whatever it is, okay? It's going to be pretty cool. So what is this energy for Aries, please? Restlessness, burnout, lack of progress. Yeah, that's the axe right there. So the thing about the axe card is that what this does is it wants you to cut the energy in half with something that's right next to it. And that is, well, what's right next to it? Well, what is the axe? What do we need to know about the axe? What does Aries need to cut in half? What do they need to cut out? There's something, there's some sort of hopeless situation right now. And I feel like whatever this is, you need to cut back your energy towards it. Okay. So you need to just go, you need to, it's okay to still focus on it. It's still okay to keep it in the back of your head just a little bit, right? Just, just tuck it away though. Like whatever it is, it doesn't need to be dealt with right now. Okay. That's what I'm getting. What's the black walnut tree for, I almost called you Aquarius for Aries. Because whatever it is, it's like, whatever this thing is in the past here, Aries, it's like you've tried everything. It's like you've literally tried everything. And I'm getting like a little bit of obsessiveness over it because there's just been failure, right? And it's just kind of like, and you're just kind of like, okay, well, I can either continue being like a pod person. I don't know why I just said pod, pod person. 
you guys ever seen that movie, that science fiction movie where it's like Attack of is it Attack of the Pod People? What am I thinking of? Where they're like aliens, they come down and they like everyone like lives in pods. It's a good movie, you know, if you like that kind of thing. But um anyway. <laughs> okay, so Okay, for some of you, you could be feeling a little lonely. There's something about lost money. You could be feeling broke. It's just like, it's just all hitting you, right? Okay, and like you're just like sitting there. Maybe even your paycheck could get delayed, I'm getting, because of retrograde. And it's like, oh, for crying out loud. But it's okay. Just chill. Just relax. Because it's going to come in. But like the universe is testing you a little bit on your fiery self. Okay, what are you going to do when this happens? Prepare yourself because it could, right? Always prepare yourself for the worst case scenario, but hope for the best, right? Um, what is this black walnut tree with discernment, self-worth, impulsiveness? Aquarius was getting this too. High expectations. King of Wands in reverse, okay? Yeah, okay. So what is this King of Wands in reverse? Some sort of future planning, burden, responsibility, hard work, stress, achievement, two of wands. You could have discovered something here. I'm getting a discovery of something. For some of you, like you're being discovered or you're going to be discovered. Especially with this peacock energy, like someone could just randomly come in and like sweep you off your feet. Okay, like I'm getting like... You could be pretty popular right now or people are like, they have their eye on you. They think you're sexy. They want to hang out with you. They want to play with you. Like someone's going to come in and probably take your mind off whatever this is. Okay. What's the peacock here? Yes. Okay. Queen of Cups. That's you. I'm getting... Even if you're a masculine, I don't care. You're still in that Queen of Cups energy, okay? This is emotional security. This is calm nature. But behind you as well, I feel like you do still have like a little bit of doubt in you with any future endeavor. It's like you kind of side-eye it. You expect it to go wrong. And you kind of just go, mm, are you going to fuck me over like that last person? Or are we going to be cool? Like, I'm just getting like that. It's, it's like you're just kind of like... You know, you could have put a lot of effort into something. You could have, like, done everything, every possible thing you could have done, and it still failed. <laughs> and you're just like, and you're just like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, you just, like, you're like, I'm actually really cool, and I have no idea why I'm sitting here obsessing or trying, like, obsessively trying to make something work when it's just not over and over and over and over again, right? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> because you're badass, Aries, you are. Like, so just, you know. All right, anyway, with the um, Emperor Reverse, this is your energy, but you so you could be dealing with another Aries, but if I'm not getting your, uh, you are abusing your power of authority, you could be, but I doubt you would be if you were sitting here listening to this reading. There's someone else that has. There's someone else that's been fucking with you, or if they haven't been fucking with you, it's kind of like they just figure that you're always going to fucking be there, and you're kind of getting to the point where you're like, maybe I won't be there tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like... You could just be like, mm, maybe I'm not going to be there. So what are you going to do when I'm not? <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, so what's this, this black eyed pea energy? Yeah, this is you stepping into your power. Maybe like, you know, maybe have you ever made black eyed pea um, chili? It's really good. I love making chili with black eyed peas. It's like a lot of people use like the, the same old beans that people usually do. And I don't like the black beans really, or the, the red ones, the red kidney beans. Black eyed pea chili is legit, especially with, if you use like a pulled pork and I do this whole thing where I, I, I add a whole bunch of flavors. Maybe I'll put up a recipe, um, this weekend, but anyway, what's the ace of swords? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is I'm just getting I'm just getting badass Aries energy Empress with the um Seven of Swords. I feel like someone is up to the challenge here. I feel like someone is ready to defend themselves. I feel like someone is ready to stand up for themselves. I feel like you are becoming you. It's like 
You know what I mean? This past crappy energy here could literally just be, I do get the money issue. Okay. I get that that is an issue. Okay. So just save your money. I've been, I've been telling people to save their money for ages because Mercury retrograde, man. But anyway, um, so money could not be great, but I'm getting like you yourself, you are going to be feeling good. Okay. You're going to be feeling really good. Okay. Uh, what is the Mockingbird? Indecision. So some of you have been holding back saying something. Um, I honestly feel like, you know what I'm getting? It's like, you don't have enough information to fully make a decision. And whoever this is, is like constantly keep you in the energy to the point where it's like, to the point where it's like, you know, you kind of feel like if you did make a decision to do something, you'd feel like an asshole, right? Um, especially if you made the wrong decision or something, or like it wasn't what you thought it was. But then on the, on the flip side, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, okay, well, like if I don't make a decision and I just stay here forever, it's just, you're going to be here in this energy forever. Right? <laughs> like how else is this going to go? <laughs> it's like, maybe things have got slightly better over time, right? But you're, you still are kind of at this weird, foggy, like don't know what the hell is going on. Okay. So what else is this Mockingbird here? Hold on. I was just getting something is going to come in and that's, that's so weird that that happened. I should have said it as the card came out, but someone from the past is going to be sending you a message. Okay. This person has been holding off sending a message to you. There's something. And then for some of you, there is a message coming in from somewhere. Okay. So I'll give you an example. It was crazy today, right? Okay. So I was, um, I was, um, getting in my car and I was going to put on a song from YouTube and my phone like wouldn't connect. It was the weirdest thing. And then my radio turned on and then it turned up and the song that was playing was like, I was like, wait a minute, this is so obviously a message for me. Cause it was like, I haven't heard this, this song in ages. And I'm like, why the hell is this song on the radio? It was like, it was like really, really weird. <laughs> So I was sitting there. I'm like, okay, fine. Wow. It was weird. Cause, so I was sitting there before the song came on. I was trying to press the song on like another song on my phone. And then like the radio, came, I'm just telling you, it's stuff like that. Some sort of message is going to come in like that. And it's going to really make things clear for you. Okay. So listen out for messages right now, Aries. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get into the bottom of the deck because the bottom of the deck sucks. I'm going to tell you that much. So we're just going to drop it like there and we're going to leave your reading as such. I really liked how that went. So have a good one. Bye.